Hello, I'm Atuba Judge, and I'm just so excited bringing God's truth to you and blessing you. You know, as I bless you with the word of God, I'm also getting blessed. Praise God. Because I'm so open to the Spirit of God to speak to me right now. And as I'm hearing from Him, I'm just giving it to you. Now he says, we've been talking about the command that Jesus gave to his disciples. And this sign shall follow them that believe. Mark chapter 16 and verse 17. It says, now look at verse 18. It says, they shall take up serpents. Who will take up serpents? The, this, those who believe. So if you used to be scared of animals, you used to be scared of you know things like that, when the Holy Ghost comes inside of you, listen, and all you need to do is to accept that the Holy Ghost has come and, and walk in the dominion that the Spirit of God gives you. You are not supposed to be running away from animals, be it dog, whatever animal. See, because we are supposed to express dominion over them. And like I said yesterday, the same Spirit that made you is the same Spirit that made them. And when He made us, he commanded us to have dominion over them. And they heard that word also. See, they heard it. God actually said in Genesis chapter, this is, I have given you all the animals. They shall be meat for you. All of them. Praise God. So they know. And even, even um, the uh, scientists have discovered that most times, what makes other animals, including lions, to attack human beings is because they sense the adrenaline fear. See, that, that, that thing that causes fear inside of you when they see you. So they attack you because they are scared you are planning to attack them. So now, when, when, you, are, when you remove every fear from yourself, from your heart, when you clear every fear from you, See, when you see the animals, they won't sense any fear from you. And they will feel safe to dwell around you. Now, that's why people have been able to tame even lions. Do you understand that? Now, that's what happened to Daniel in the lion's den. See, when, when he was thrown in there, the Spirit of God descended in that place and cast away every fear from his heart. And that's why and that's why how God shut the mouth of the lion. Because they saw him, they, they were not afraid. They just felt, oh, this guy is peaceful. He's so peaceful. We don't sense any fear around him. So we, we, we just relax. We can relax. See? And then they relaxed. Watch this. He says, if they drink any deadly thing, this is big. It shall not hurt them. Can you? You know, sometimes you need to ask yourself, am I a believer? Do I really believe in Jesus Christ? And then I'm scared. And say, somebody wants to poison me. You know, no, as a believer, someone is telling you, look, oh, be careful of this person. Oh, they, they, they want to poison you. Now, first of all, as a believer, you're supposed to be led by the Holy Ghost. So everywhere you go to, you're supposed to be led by the Spirit of God. And He's not going to lead you in a place where they are going to harm you. But you see, He so made our lives in such a way that even if someone tries to harm us, it shall not hurt us. You remember Paul? Paul, you know, after they escaped the shipwreck, they got to this community. And then the people made fire. They, they got wood and stuff and they made fire. And then they were watching them. And suddenly the Bible says a, a viper came out of the fire and beat Paul. See, it stung him. And they know that snake. And they know that if you have been beaten by this snake, oh, you are done for. So the Bible says they were watching, to, they were watching waiting for him to swell up and die. So they were watching. Because they know there is no, no, no anti-venom available as at that time. So this guy is sure going to die. You know what they said? They said, ah, this one, he's really a criminal. Even though he escaped from the sea, judgment has still caught up on him. Here. But what did Paul do? Hey, get me clothes. Let me tie this. Get me. No, no, no. The Bible says Paul just shook his hands off and shook the, the snake into the fire. 
And then the Bible says he continued what he was doing. So he continued sharing God's word with them. And what happened? The guys waited and waited and waited and waited. He said, ah, by now this guy is supposed to. So they were watching him. You know, I'm just sure maybe Paul was talking. The moment he just, you know, stopped for maybe a few seconds and hey, maybe that started. Maybe that started. But they waited for so long. Hear me? And that's how those who are having expectation of your failure will wait for so long. <laughs> Praise God. Those who are having expectation that you will crash, they are waiting for so long. They will wait for so long. And guess what happened after that? When they waited for so long, nothing happened to Paul. They turned around to say, this man must be a God. Praise God. Because instead of him swelling up and dying, he kept doing what he was doing and so convinced. Now, what do you think was happening? Jesus said it is a sign. So, imagine those people reading this scripture later. See? They shall, if they drink any deadly thing, it shall not hurt them. Oh, that means that man was truly, and he was talking about Jesus. He is correct. Listen. The Lord is making you a testimony of his word. Everywhere you go, when people see your life, they will read the scriptures and they will say concerning you, I have met a believer. Because your life perfectly fits and suits what the scripture says. Hallelujah. Now, remember, it's just two days from now. Next tomorrow, we are having our program at the Zeus Paradise Hotel in Abuja plan, do everything to be at this meeting. It's going to be a glorious time. Praise God. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.